So I'm back in Norway, uh, this time nothing to do with the world records or anything, this is just actually exploring the fjords area in Norway. Uh, yesterday we uh, flew into Bergen and then took a really beautiful train ride up to Voss and then we got picked up uh, by Klaus um, and taken up to this hotel here. Uh, which is in the Mikidalen ski resort, which is straight outside the resort itself. Small little uh, resort with just uh, a few little chairlifts and, and tea bars and things. Uh, but it looks really exciting because it's not so busy. There's pretty much just this hotel here. So it's at the moment, there's no one around. We're just up in uh, Mirkdalen. Mirkdalen. We're up in Mirkdalen. Skating around. Really cool little resort around here. Klaus, get out there. Get out there. Go. So yesterday was a lot of fun. We were just kind of exploring the resort here in Mikdal and uh, it was really nice because Klaus Finn, a uh, professional skier and X Games athlete uh, who's local to the area, who's showing us all around and he even has his own signature snow park here. So he took us through that. It was really cool to see him going over all the jumps and things. It's such a nice little resort here. Um, it's just perfect for that if you want to get away a bit quiet, no queues. I mean, this is school holidays at the moment, so there's literally no one around. It's just an incredible thing, and just walking straight up the hotel and straight up the lift. It was a really nice day, but we always have to move on. So uh, today we are heading down to one of the fjords and going on a ferry, um, going down one of the fjords, and then we're gonna take a mountain train up to this hotel that's only accessible by train. Today, going to be doing a little hike and ride. We don't have split boards today, so we're actually going to be using snowshoes and put the boards on our back to get up. And the plan today is to do a couple of cents, but of ultimately arriving up somewhere up there, hopefully. But we're going to go check it out. Obviously, it's springtime, so there's it's not a huge amount of snow at the moment, and it's pretty hard in the morning. But we're hoping it's going to soften up a bit in the afternoon and we get some uh, nice spring free ride. made it to the top. We took quite a while because we had to go up one side, come back down and then start the whole hike up the main face. But wow, it's amazing. And when you get to the top, you have all this scenery around us. And it's absolutely amazing. You've even got one of the uh, fields down there. That's the one we came up on, which was really cool. You can see all the way around you. You can even see the hotel where we're staying, all the way down there. Absolutely amazing hike, but now comes the fun part. Now let's go right down.
seven and a half hours till we're back. Beer time. So yesterday was absolutely awesome. It was super tough. We did about 1,220 meters vertical and for snowshoeing, that's a huge amount. I think definitely next time we'll try to get a split board as it should be a lot easier doing it that way. But nevertheless, it was still an awesome day and we climbed all the way to the top of the peak we wanted to. So that's a goal achieved. And again, this place is just amazing just based on the fact that there's no one else around you really do feel like you're in the middle of nowhere and it's it's really quite nice to just get away from things so we just took the train down from uh, the hotel all the way here to Bergen we've got a few hours to kill here so we're gonna do explore the city as much as we can for this small time and we're gonna go head up for Nicola at the top so we can overlook the whole city from there, which will be nice. That's us done here in Norway. It's been an absolutely amazing trip back to the UK and I look forward to coming back here again soon.